welcome back to This is a Work of Fiction. Once again, if you want to see the entire series, this series starts over on the Flash Game Paradox show, where we played this for 15 minutes, and it was so good, I just had to see it through to the end. So please, enjoy This is a Work of Fiction. I've already screwed up. All right, restart. I think I, I think I know what I need to do. No, that's not gonna work either. Uh, actually, no, this will work, right? Do that one first, then I'll come up here. It's a companion cube. No use trying over every mistake. Just keep on trying till you run out of cake. All right. No. No. I mean, in theory, this should be very simple. <laughs> no. Well, that worked. Yeah. Just do that, and do that, and do that. Cool. Wow, I only have three. Just trying stuff right now. <laughs> Stick them all real close to each other. Just hope they all shoot out in the right direction. The answer is no. <laughs> They're all off by one. And if I stick it in the middle, they're all off by one the other way. Oh, that's so funny, though. What if I might? Hmm. Oh, why is it like this? Uh, why isn't red working? Uh, why does it all work but red? If I do this, now everything's ruined. It was working. Oh, oh, yeah! <laughs> All right. Irresponsibility. Do me a concern. I lied to you earlier. I'm sorry. I'm not a doctor. I was worried that you wouldn't listen to me if I didn't have some sort of, some kind of impressive background. But no, I'm not a doctor. I'm just a shepherd. That's what the serial killer called himself, right? Yeah, yeah. Shock and awe. That I was legitimately shocked. Uh, you want to know what my impulse was, don't you? I have a lot of stories. But one stands out in my mind. I started a fire. In my little dead-end town of California. A big fire. The truly distressing part, though, was that I had no idea why I had done it. I was petrified that I had done something wrong, but no, I wasn't an arsonist. I was fate's battered rifle, 
handled with care and prepared for years so that when the moment finally came, I'd be ready to do my job. I can't be held accountable. Saying so would be irresponsible. I'm a shepherd. Let's let's do a riddle together, gang. Though I should be unique, you've made most of us the same. I would be stronger if my characters were stranger. Story. Though I should be unique, you've made most of us the same. Made most of us the same. It would be stronger if my characters were stranger. A friend? Like I made a friend? Though I should be unique, you've made most of us the same. I would be stronger if my characters were stranger. Oh! 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 Password. Ha <laughs> ha! That was good. That was a good. That was a good riddle. I like that one. So now let's read something creepy. Weakness. To whom it may concern me. I'm getting very concerned. What's the difference between a decision and an impulse? And what's the difference between a normal impulse and an influence impulse? Other than perhaps timing. There is no difference. They are one and the same. In this universe, everything must play out perfectly for the story to come true. That means that every person must live in exactly the same way that's expected of them. The influence is, compri uh, is comprised of every single sentient being on the planet. And that is because only the sentient ones have that key weakness to impulse. Do you believe that you are capable of making decisions? The spin of the universe has already been determined, has already determined every choice that you will make. But what's that feeling you get when you incorrectly believe that you are making a choice? That is what I refer to as an impulse. Free will doesn't exist. We are all shepherds from the moment we are born. Most of us don't realize it, but I do. We do. Like the blood of a friend from f some things never really wash out. Shepherd. I am choosing upon my own free will to keep playing. Oh, this is fun for the colorblind kid. Uh, how many colors we got? Red, dark blue, light blue, green, pink. Yellow. All right, so we got six colors. All right. Finished one of them. Hooray. Finished two of them. Nope, now it's down to one again. All right. Blue. Red. I'm saying this is going to be light blue. This is going to be red. Help this. This one now. I guess I'll do that. This one will be red. Like this.
right. This is like a Rubik's Cube. Uh, I did turn the audio volume down. Let me turn it up a smidge. Is that better? Colorblindness really screwed me right there. It's like it's blue and it's blue.
Okay, if I just keep transferring these guys around, I think I'll get that tapping like this is making sense in my brain mathematically but I spun the wrong ones I've I'm totally lost to total success! Yay! All right. I'm super running low on time, but I super want to finish this, so we're going to try. To whom it may concern, this is all weird textured paper. This area <laughs> intentionally left blank. Okay. To whom it may concern, it looks like our time together is almost up, but I have one more revelation regarding the nature of our universe. If everything is building up to this story, what happens after this story successfully occurs? There would be no more constraint. Which means no more impulses, no more influence, no more shepherds. It would be a signal the birth of true free will. But then, here's the problem. When it finally happens, we be able to tell what it already has. Alright, final one. I, I, it, it only goes up when I'm moving. Out right now. I spent quite 
a while in denial. It could be true. It mustn't be. Sounds like the words of a madman. Having studied enough, I can now say with confidence that there is no other explanation. I suppose the least I can do is find a way to distribute this knowledge of a friend. Talked about the blood of a friend. Stopped all the puzzles already? I have to give you credit. That was some excellent work. Hope you got a kick out of the documents as I did. Eli. Cool! Well, that's the game! Uh, that was a work of fiction, or this is a work of fiction. That was This Is a Work of Fiction. Joining me for this. This was a very, very interesting experience. Uh, I was just seeing if maybe there's an Easter egg or something like that. But uh, tell me what you think this game means. It's very interesting. I'll probably, if I have time, I want to do a follow up video where I just kind of discuss what I think is going on in this game. But I'm going to need to edit this video first and take a look at it and really pick it apart before I do thank you so much for joining me for this uh this was a spin-off of the flash game paradox so as always if you have a flash game that you think needs to be preserved after the death of flash let me know in the comments below and uh, i'll add it to the list and we'll see if you can earn a spot in the flash museum thank you so much for joining me for this game and i'll see you all